Like the sign says, a dead planet. So my heavy metal review is one of the better received videos on my channel, and since uploading it I've had the occasional person comment asking me about my thoughts on the sequel. I can only guess either because they hate me or they're just blissfully unaware. More likely it was just Kevin Eastman on his alt account, but whatever, let's get this over with. On paper it sounds like a great idea, a follow up to the most badass animated film of all time. You got Michael Ironside and Billy Idol doing voice work, a soundtrack with greats like Pantera, Insane Clown Posse, Queens of the Stone Age and more Billy Idol. It also has boobs. I mean, the formula for success is there, it just kind of falls flat in my opinion, so let's take a closer look. First thing you'll notice is that this isn't an anthology film. No reference to the Loch Ness or anything from the previous film either. It would have been awesome to see that narrative continued, but there's nothing wrong with a blank slate, so this isn't a big deal. What is a big deal is the difference in the animation style from the original film. This seems like a stiff downgrade for me. While it is a lot sharper looking than the original film, the gritty look was part of the appeal. This looks more like a Saturday morning cartoon than the follow-up to a masterpiece. The design is fine, but the animation is notably choppy, and the 3D animation stands out both from the aesthetic of the film, but also as extremely dated looking. As far as the plot, this asshole is going around fucking up planets looking for some immortality water or some shit, and in the process kidnaps and gets rapey with this chick's sister, who of course then hunts him down with the intention of killing him. This feels more like a 20-30 to 30 minute segment from the original film, extended to an hour and a half. And if that was the case, I think this would have worked out better. Or, you know, make the sequel to your anthology film an anthology film? Radical thought, right? They had 15 years to improve and fell far short of that in many ways. If you don't compare it to the original, it's an okay adult animated film, but if you've taken a look at my playlist on the topic, our options are rather limited, so any contribution is noteworthy. While I still have quite a few adult animated films to speak about, I've already discussed many of the best, but I'm always open to suggestions and I'll be looking at television series in the near future, so leave a comment below. Just don't ask me what my thoughts are on the heavy metal video game. Once again, this was Fade Dragon Tear. Peace out. So, what's your name? Listen, don't talk, don't touch, don't even breathe, or I kill you. Got it? I got it.